JD talking sports. You know what's awesome? You know what's freaking awesome? Is that the Knicks have won eight in a row. Morning Blitz, I love you. But they had the Knicks winning nine games. They had UNC winning 11 in a row and 10 and 0 in the ACC. And I love you guys. And I love that you got back to me and you said you didn't make that you made a mistake. You're, you're a, you, you, you acknowledge that you made a mistake and we move on. Whereas the sports letter put the Damon Stoudemire, one of his alma mater of Georgia Tech. What the fuck, dude? He played at Arizona from 91 to 95. Alma mater. I, and, I, and it happens all the time. I respond to them and they don't get back to me. It, I said, really, guys? You guys have put out this newsletter that I follow and I have to like quadruple check your shit because half your shit's wrong. He'd have lost seven in a row. They're... They went 25 and 21, two straight seasons. They're now 25 and 23, and they're playing tonight. Oh, they host Sacramento. But the Knicks, eight in a row, 14 and two in January, which tied, well, second most wins ever. They won 15, many, many, I think it was 68, but they tied 94 to go 14 and two this month. Uh, first career triple double for Josh Hart. I didn't know that was his first one. And uh, I think th- one of the things th- after the game that, uh, that Jalen Brunton said that he worked on was his cardio. And Dante DiVincenzo, 33 career, uh, well, career, Nick career high. Rob has joined us. He wants to talk all about his Knicks. We're now 31 17, the third place. Cavs are in fourth. Philly fit, felt the fifth. And the Knicks are a game and a half behind the Bucks. No OG, no Julius the last two games. Who cares? And I also saw that uh, Brooklyn Bridges got. Multiple first-round picks from the Rockets and turned it down, which I don't understand. The Nets are not any good. And, you know, after playing 18 minutes, almost having a triple-double in their blowout of the Jazz on Monday, Ben Simmons, 18 minutes, what, 11 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists. He landed awkwardly and is sitting out tonight because they said they don't have another game for another three days. So he'll miss the game against the Suns, hopefully be better, but not good for a guy. Hasn't played since November 6th, missed 38 games, plays one game, and he's already out with a knee contusion, no further damage, just swelling, but he's had the knee drained. And you're like, this guy just came back and he's already freaking hurt again. You know, you're like, holy shit. I mean, we just got started kind of thing. And all this is already happening. I'm like, oh my God, this is... That, that, that's loco. And I just saw from Nick Muse, NBA most wins shared by a Villanova player this season, Brunson 6.6, uh, Dante DiVincenzo 3.8, uh, Brooklyn Bridges 2.8, and Josh Hart 2.6. So Rob and I were getting into it today because Rob loves arguing. And, you know, he says that we, we're harder on the Knicks. Well, the Knicks haven't won anything since 73. Leon Rose, he says, this is elite with, and I, I, you know what, elite. Now they played forty-eight games, the thirty-one and seventeen. I think they were predicted. Uh, Rob's told me was it forty-five this season, playing out of their minds, and you know one of the last two beating teams they should beat. They got the Pacers tomorrow. That's a big game. Pacers gave up eighty-one in the first half to the Celtics, which was their most since nineteen eighty-two. Eighty-one, and the Celtics held on to win yesterday. Uh, that's going to be a high-scoring game. Halliburton did not shoot well. I think he had 13 and 10 assists, but shot like 5 for 18. But the Knicks, eight straight wins, which is, geez, Louise, I mean, unbelievable. And third place, as I said, happy birthday. I think it's Dante DiVincenzo's birthday today. And Tuesday was his 11th game in the month of January with at least three three-pointers made. Fourth game in the month with at least five three-pointers made. And fourth game with seven or more three-pointers made. He had a career-high nine last night. Nine three-pointers last night, which is awesome. And 42.6 from three. He stood among players who attempted at least six three-pointers a game and appeared at least half of their team games behind the Bucks, Malik Beasley and the Pelican, C.J. McCollum. That's it. 42.6. Yeah. And hit three three three-pointers, 11 of the 16 games in January. And in the two games with no OG and no with no OG and no Julius Randle, 31.5 points per game. He's averaging f- almost 47 from the left corner, 59 from the right corner from three, and above the break, which I didn't know what that meant. It's b- basically taken from anywhere taken f- not from the corners, 39%. And Tibbs was wowed by his off-season work ethic. And thank you for all that. Christian Winfield for all that great stuff from the Daily News. Well, actually, now, what is he on? I was the post. He used to be on Daily News. And Brunson in January, where he went 13-1, and 
29 points per game, four rebounds, eight assists, 50 from the field, 38 from three, 88 from the line, and 62% true shooting. Anything over 60 is considered elite. So I had to look up, like, who's leading the league right now? Well, Dwight Powell from Dallas is, has a true shooting of 75%. It's all big guys. These are all usually closer to the basket. Hardest time for the Knicks is 38th at 65%, and Nick Claxton for the Nets is tied for 46th at 60, like 64th. And, you know, so, hey, listen, great, great basketball being played right now. I mean, you got to love it. They're playing very good basketball, and I had some stats. Yeah, I saw the Brunson thing. I thought that was very nice, and I saw some stuff on DiVincenzo because I was saving a bunch of stuff. Aaron has joined us. Hello, Aaron. Aaron got home from work but decided, you know, I was going to work out, but I decided I needed to take it kind of easy. Okay, so this is from the – I get this basketball reference. The Knicks have had a few players with interesting stat lines in their win last night, but none more impressive than DiVincenzo. He became the 10th player – in the basketball reference database with nine or more threes and four more steals in a single game. It's pretty awesome. He joined Brunson, who did it in 2023 last year. Curry did it in 2021 twice, and Marcus Smart did it in 2020. Yeah, pretty awesome, huh? And uh, Donovan Mitchell leads the NBA. Oh, I'm sorry. SGA leads the NBA with 2.2 steals a game, whereas Donovan Mitchell has 1.9. But, yeah, hey. Dante, getting the job done. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. So, yeah, so other stuff I'll get to. But, uh, yeah, so that, that, yes, 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 yes. Knicks are playing great ball. Got the Pacers. They got a chance to go on a run here. Let them go on a run. And then after next week, we go to the All-Star game. They're playing a lot. of. I think they went seven. How many games do they have at home? They have a lot of games at home right now. Uh, a lot of games coming up that, and they play the Pacers twice. I've already talked about this, the Knicks schedule. But the Knicks have played a lot of home games, too, so. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, they beat the Jazz. Then they got the Pacers at home. Yeah, I want to look at the games. Okay, so they got the Pacers at home. Then they got the Lakers at home, Grizz at home, Mavs at home, Pacers at home again. Then they're at the Rockets, at the Magic, and then they go into All-Star break. And they come at the All-Star break at the Sixers, who lost their fourth straight game last night to Golden State. And Bede, who, who fell on, Kaminga fell on his leg and he was getting an MRI today. I haven't heard anything, but he's he's injured. And, you know, hey, Knicks, keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And uh, let's see what happens on that front. Yeah, I talked about the 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 the, the Nets started 13 and 10. They've been they have been six and seventeen six since. They're 19 and 27. Supposedly not gonna trade um uh, Mikhail Bridges, but I think they should. I, I really do. I really think that they should, you know, it, it, I think it'd be a good move for them. I, I really do. Darius Garland out since December 14th. He had to have his mouth wired shut for four weeks. Liquid died to gain weight back. So today he's going to play tonight against the Pistons, who not not good basketball. So Golden State won 118-107. Curry had 37 eight three-pointers last night. Sixers fell to 29 and 17. And Draymond Green fouled and beat in like the opening tip-off. I don't think I ever saw a foul that quickly. In the first, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, man. And uh, Embiid at 14, but was five for eight from, from shooting, seven rebounds, eight turnovers last night. And, yeah, not, not playing good ball, which, you know what? Hey, Knicks, and you beat the bad teams, get that lead up, and then, you know, if you have a little swan, it's okay. But, you know, it's postseason different than regular season. But right now, Knicks are playing fantastic basketball. Let's take it for what it is. 48 games in. Did you expect them to be 31-17? and 17? The additions are good. Keep what you have. Don't add anybody new. Let's work with this nucleus. Steven Chenzo has stepped up. They were screaming for Taj Gibson last night, and uh, Hart wanted it. Hart was like, I need some, you know, let him go in. I'm a little poop right here. So I thought that was kind of funny. And the Celtics, 129-124. Wait, what are the Golden State's record is 20-24. and 24. How about the Celtics, 37-11. and 11. Hal Burton at 13-10. and 10. Tatum at 30. Derek White at 24. Pacers fell to 27-21. and 21. Lakers, man. 80 did not play last night. Bumbles has joined us. Him and his anus and your anus. So 138, 122. LeBron 29 and 8 last night. Trey Young 26. DeJounte Murray. So D'Angelo Russell and I saw Murray were talking after the game. And I guess we're going to see if there's going to be a trade. One guy, I think his ball is life, said that they should trade. They should trade LeBron to he said trade LeBron to a contender. Get a bunch of young players. Even trade him back to Cleveland, they said. For Garland and Mobley, and 
you know, 